This is one of the most important things that I can teach you before Madden 23 comes out. What's going on guys? My name is Cody. Just wanted to welcome you here to the YouTube channel. I wanted to talk to you today about something that was really good in the beta that is going to be really good at launch of Madden 23. And you need to be prepared prepared um, in order to defend this properly i'm going to give you a really cool tip today it's actually fairly straightforward um, but you can actually cross apply this in a lot of different ways and basically what we're going to talk about is how to stop the slot streaks um, high points in the slot are going to be one of the most effective ways not only to attack really any defense but they're really going to be one of the most effective ways to beat blitzes in madden 23 you're going to see these snap throw streaks from tight from spread sets um, i actually think that tight is going to be one of the best offenses um, at launch because of its ability to snap throw these streaks and so i'm going to give you like i said just a real quick way to attack this so uh what we're going to do is we're going to come out in the four six nickel normal um, if you want to get my full ebook on nickel normal i think it's gonna be one of the best defenses in madden you can get that full defensive ebook by joining my patreon at the link in the description that'll get you access to all of my madden um, 23 offensive and defensive ebooks you also get all the stuff we did in madden 22 and all the stuff we did in madden 21 all of which kind of builds upon itself year over year now what i want to show you is first the problem and then we'll talk about the solution so the problem is basically this let's say that i'm going to send a heavy pressure blitz like this and you see that my safeties are backed off now this is actually um interesting in terms of how this is going to play in madden 22 but basically in madden or in madden 22 it's going to be a little bit more exaggerated but in madden 23 it's still going to be an issue so if i just streak this slot receiver i can basically highball this that next year that highball is really consistent um it's actually way better than it is this year um but you can basically just highball and highball on the seam highball on the seam highball on the seam now this is why tight is going to be so good because if i go over here to tight real quickly let's say that i'm using over here on this seam route well then i can snap throw this other seam route as you can see so that's kind of why tight is going to be so good it's basically has to do with the fact that your safeties are so far off the ball there's a small little window especially if you're going to take your intermediate hook defenders out of the play um, to be able to send pressure or to be able to get them to play other things like flat routes for example so how can we combat this well it's actually a really simple tip um and all we're going to do is basically we just got to get our safeties in the box now we saw mills do this in madden 17 and uh, still does this to this day i actually think this is why one of the reasons why 4-3 even 6-1 is going to be so good next year i think it's one of the reasons 3-3-5 why does good year over year because the safeties are already in the box for you or they're already brought up for you but what we can do um in this year or in madden 23 is we can just come out in any play that has both safeties blitzing so as you see here uh double safety blitz at a nickel normal okay we're just going to audible to uh tampa 2 and you see here that these safeties are down down now if i pinch my defense you're going to see kind of the issue and the issue is basically if i don't manually move these guys they go backwards so what i recommend doing is when you come down in this there's really a couple of, of ways to do this but i find repeatedly year over year i think this is a tip that i used to do in madden 13. Uh, i think i actually this is madden 12 as well but when they come out so let's so you see how they come out like this just move them like that and then audible and you see that they don't move now why this is so good is because i can send a heavy blitz and now if i try to throw this seam this really good deep half zone that is much improved in madden 22 he's now actually able to be in the area now it's about 23 so of course or it's Madden 22 so of course why would he play that but in madden 23 he will so what i would do is just quickly move these guys i'll show you a middle third as well this um this works for middle thirds so if they're going to run, um, you know, if we're going to run like a cover three, um, you know, three deep, three under pressure or something like this, what you'll see is, again, this streak up the seam is just not, I mean, it's open, everything's open to Madden 22. But trust me, in Madden 23, he's going to react to that ball. It's going to be played very, very well. Now, another little pro tip that I will give you on this is another thing that you can do is let's say you don't like to manually click on the players. If you don't like to manually click on the players, um, that's fine because you don't want to lose your user, so I get it. Um, what you're going to want to do is this. When you come out in the double safety blitz, you're going to audible. And what I like to do is I'm going to now hit triangle, hit the X button to bring up individual coverage, and I'm going to press every receiver on the field, as you can see. 
I'm going to pinch my D-line and pinch my linebackers. Now, that's a lot of adjustments, but if you get them down, um, they're very helpful, okay? Um, but dropping a deep third linebacker next year is going to be one of the most important things um, for stopping this slot streak because you'll see here if I drop this middle linebacker now I got three people in the area and I still fit it in because Madden 22 is arguably the worst man ever created but as you can see my guy is in the area so again I'm going to audible to Tampa 2 and then you'll see I'll just go to town uh, manually put manually uh, pressing these dudes and then now we're able to set up you know our coverage and do something like this this is a really really good defense in Madden 23 I'm telling you right now this be, when you bring these safeties into the box it really does make a big difference next year this year like it did make a difference but it wasn't as good as um it really honestly it wasn't as good as it should have been um but next year it's going to be really good because now we can't throw these routes to godwin or gronk and now we have to throw corner routes which again we are playing man 22 so they're open but in man 23 they're not now let me show you one last little piece of this to kind of bring this all together and that's big nickel over g and this is why i think big nickel is going to be one of the better defenses next year it's my personal uh favorite defense at least to start the year i'm pretty sure um as long as nothing is as long as nothing has drastically changed from the beta which they said there wasn't anything drastically changed from the beta um <laughs> then i think this is going to be the best day one defense and here's why so you get different adjustments when you come out in big nickel over G, but it also has the best alignment out of any formation in Madden, in my opinion, um, with the show blitz alignment. And what you're going to see here is we're going to show blitz. And what this does is it brings this safety down in the box. We can put him in an outside third. We can then this see how this guy's kind of already naturally walked down into the box, so we can put him in an outside third. And then we can put this guy in a middle third. Now, if we're thinking about seam streaks and, and, and snap throwing these seam streaks, they can't do that on the right side. Um, it's going to be triple teamed, basically. If I try to throw a seam streak on that side, I can't. Well, my user's also over here as well. So it's really hard to attack the seam out of a, out of this defense. Obviously, again, it's Madden 22, but I'm telling you, Madden 23, they react. Um, so, you know, this is a really critical piece of this defense, this show blitz alignment, where you can get this safety effectively in that same general spot and if you want to move him down a little bit you can you could do a little something like this this is a really fun way to run this defense because you can send pressure from this dude um you know if you want to put this guy in the deep third that's fine so now the left side seam streak is really hard to throw um and then you're kind of bracketing that right side seam streak uh this is a really really good defense i just can't I, i'm so excited for madden 23 to come out because this defense will actually i mean it works really well in madden 20 uh, two, but it's even better in Madden 23, this specific um, concept here. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you about this, like I said, is the big nickel over G alignment. And there's one last little piece of this, and that's this. Deep half zones are a lot better in Madden 23. So if I, even if I wanted to do something like this, this is a really, this is an okay coverage. This is fine. Um, I could do something like this. You know, I could do, this is a really good coverage next year. Um, just manning the running back up out a bunch will be really good. Now, let me show you how this relates to tight or compression two by two. Obviously, this will cross everything I said in this video cross applies to your spread sets. Um, I actually think the snap throw seams specifically are going to be a lot better out of tight um, just because of, of where they're going to attack and how that middle third defender is really not going to get down there. So anyways, we're going to bring this guy down, put him in outside third, put that guy in the middle third and then put the outside safety that rolled down into an outside third. So you see it looks like this. And then now we're free to be able to do you know, however we want to play our defense. And and what's so good about this, like I said, is that these seam streaks are just not an option. Um, my user is bracketing that right side one, and then the left side one here is being, you know, double teamed. And then if they bring an underneath route like this, well, I've got a bluff blitz or I've got a vert hook or I've got a hard flat, all of which are helpful. So I can kind of go here, work back to here, and then these are going to be really good as well for defending these corner routes out of tight. So this is a really good defense for next year. Um, but the bottom line is it really doesn't matter to me how you do it, whether you audible from a safety blitz into a play, whether you manually move people, it, it truly doesn't matter to me. But the bottom line that I want you to really hear loud and clear is next year it is really important that these safeties come down into this box especially if you are playing compression sets and you are sending pressure. Otherwise, they will throw seam streaks on you all day long. Thanks for watching the video. Hope it was helpful. If you want to get all my eBooks for Madden 23, we got a lot of content on the way. Make sure you're in the Patreon. 10 bucks gets you access to everything unlimited. 
and uh, we'll see you over there.